Ronaldo, my dev said, we're switching from REST to GraphQL. I asked for an API, not a Marvel character. Relax, Leo. GraphQL isn't a superhero. It's a query language. Instead of hitting 10 REST endpoints and still getting too much or too little data, GraphQL lets you ask for exactly what you need. No more, no less. Like a custom order? Exactly. REST is a buffet. You get what's served. GraphQL is a la carte. You send a single post request with a query and the server responds only with the fields you asked for. But doesn't that mean writing new queries for every screen? Not really. That's where GraphQL schemas shine. They define the types, relationships, and fields available, so your front-end devs can build their own queries without bothering the back-end team. Total independence. So like, if I want a player's name, team, and goal stats, I just ask for those fields? Exactly. No overfetching, no underfetching. Plus, nested queries are clean. One request can pull related data across multiple entities. And performance? Well, that's the catch. GraphQL can lead to n plus one query hell if your resolvers aren't optimized. You gotta batch or cache smartly. Use tools like Data Loader or Apollo Caching. And errors? Unlike REST's scattered status codes, GraphQL returns 200 OK even if there's a problem. Errors are inside the JSON. Devs either love it or want to kick it. So GraphQL is like a personal assistant, only brings what I ask for. Exactly. But if you write crap queries, don't blame the assistant. Blame your own tactics, Leo.